Okay, welcome back. Today we're going to work on a simple web page. We're going to be using HTML and CSS, and I'm going to link these externally. Notice I have three pairs of tags, HTML, and Adam, when I select the first one, the pair, the partner, the end tag also gets highlighted or underlined in this case. If I select the top head, so the uh, end head tag gets selected and the body and end body. So I'm going to be working in between head and the body tags. In the head, I'm going to load things that need the, the browser needs to be aware of uh, before I present the page. Linking other files, for instance, or telling uh, the browser exactly how different information is linked together or maybe things that need to be preloaded. Whereas in the body, I'm going to be placing the content that I'm actually going to see on the page. So first of all, in the head, I want to find out how to link to an external style sheet. So I'm going to go over here into W3Schools, and I just Googled CSS linked, and this page came up. And uh, it's easier for me to do that than to take a few seconds to remember that. But in any case, I'm going to load that right into the head. And so now what this is telling me is this is going to link uh, the file called theme.css, and I can put uh, CSS information over here. But the problem is my CSS file is called My Styles, so I'm going to go ahead and change the name here to My Styles, and nothing else needs to change. And so My Styles.css is now linked to this page, and it will style the content of this page. Now, coming down in the body, I'm going to go ahead and put a heading one tag. So, again, this is a tag that has a pair, and this uh, there are paired tags, and whatever I put in between those two is going to appear as heading one. And so for heading one, I think I'll just say uh, uh, this is a heading one text. So let's go ahead and just see what that looks like right out of the box. Uh, I don't have any styles associated with this. And so if I come over here now and uh, drop this in, let me go ahead back to my folder. And I'll take this guy and just dump him in there. And there he is. So uh, I can see that I've got a web page. All it has is black text. This is a heading one text. And so then I'll just put in a paragraph, and uh, my p tag is for paragraph, and I'll end my p tag. It's probably a good idea to always do these in pairs, so as soon as you do one, do the other. And I need some text, and so rather than type in a bunch of text, I'm going to go to Bacon Ipsum, and this will give you text uh, that is just nonsense, but it allows you to look and see what the page will look like. So I'm going to put that right in here, and for some reason, this guy needs to constantly be set back to reflow section. And so uh, that's good, and that's good, and uh, maybe I should uh, indent this a bit, but uh, in any case, I think we're doing okay. In any case, so now I've got a paragraph tag, I've got my heading one, I'm going to save all this. If I come back here now and go back into my index.html and reload that, again, I have black text, uh, both heading one text and I have paragraph text, and I'm good to go. At this point, I want to style some of these things. And so I'm going to come in here to uh, body, which is in my CSS. I'm going to go ahead and give it a color. And uh, actually, I'll give it a couple of uh, values. Let's go ahead and select in the body. I'm going to go ahead and say, um, let's say color is um, blue. So, oops, blue, uh, semicolon, and I'll say background color is pink. So I'll say back, and it'll go ahead and fill that in for me, background color, and I'll make that uh, pink. And so now, if I were to look at this, all the text on the page should be blue, and the background color should be pink, and it is. So now I can change this. If I want to go into my heading, and I can come in here to H1, and I can say, let's give it an ID, and say ID is equal to, and let's go ahead and say uh, head text, and uh, notice that's between quotes. And so now, uh, my first selector was for an HTML tag. My second selector is going to be for a ID. And so I need to start it with a pound sign. And I'm going to say head text. And then I'm going to go ahead and give it some rules. So let's go ahead and try that. Uh, remember that uh, in CSS, um, this rule is going to have uh, declarations, which will have selector followed by property and then value. So the property is going to be, let's say, color, and the value is going to be um, gray. Okay, so that works. And now the other thing, oh, let's just leave it like that. I could do things like font size and do all kinds of other things, but I'm going to leave that as such. And now if I come back in here, I should see that now just that part turned gray. So this 
color rule, this rule for the ID overrode what was true for the whole body. Everything in the body it said to make blue, but then it came down here, and just for this head text, I gave it a different color. I can do the same thing now for the paragraph, except instead of an ID, I'm going to use a class, and this class is going to have another name, and I'll say uh, first P. And first P is for the first paragraph. Um, actually, that doesn't make sense. I'm going to say um, body P. So let's say I have an, any body paragraphs, I can use the class for that. And so I'll just uh, copy this and uh, change the name to body P. Now there's an important difference here, and that is that this is not, this was an ID, and so I use the pound sign. This is a class, and so now I want to use the dot. And the difference between these is um, I can create lots and lots of P's that use this uh, particular class, and all I have to do is reference this body P name. But an ID is usually used for one single element. So multiple elements, I'm going to use a class. Single element, I'll use an ID. But in any case, this one's going to be color, and let's make this uh, purple. Okay, so that looks good. So let's go ahead and open this guy up now and see what he looks like and reload it. And sure enough, that's purple, that's gray, and that's pink. And that is the first step in using CSS.